The year is 1950. Willis would upgrade their Go Devil flathead engine design, going from L head to an F head design or inlet over exhaust design, which allowed for bigger valves and smaller combustion chamber, improving flow and increasing compression ratio. The new engine would be known as the Willis Hurricane engine and was available in four cylinders and six cylinder configurations. The intake valve is directly over the cylinder, like an overhead valve setup, but the exhaust valve is where the exhaust valve would be in an L head engine. The F head is basically a hybrid between overhead valve and L head design. Willis kept the engine block pretty much the same as the L-Head Go Devil engine, timing gears instead of timing chain. The spark plugs are placed in the upper face of the combustion chamber, centrally located for uniform combustion, full pressurized oiling lubrication to the main connecting rods, camshaft bearings, and rocker arms. The crankshaft is fully counterweighted and dynamically balanced floating oil pump, aluminum heat dam pistons, intake manifold was cast into the intake manifold and was water jacketed. This engine was small but tall. 134.2 cubic inch displacement in line 4, F head 2.1 liters. It's good for anywhere between 72 to 75 horsepower at 4,000 RPM up to 114 pound feet or 154 newton meters around 2000 rpm with a bore of 3.125 inches in a stroke of 4.375 inches compression is anywhere between 6.7 to 7.8 to 1. this engine features three main bearings it weighs 470 pounds Years this engine was used between 1950 through 1971, it could be found in the CJ5, CJ6, FC trucks, Willis wagons, Willis pickup trucks from 1950 through 1956 and 59, and the Jeepster Commando, as well as many other vehicles. Introduced in 1952, the Hurricane 6, which uses the Lightning 6 block, pretty much unchanged, except it implemented the F-head configuration moving intake valves inside the head and exhaust valves remained in the block just like the four it uses aluminum heat dam pistons intake manifold is cast into the head fully pressurized oiling lubrication system to the main connecting rods camshaft bearings rocker arms camshaft is balanced and fully counterweighted and it's riding on four main bearings. It's important to note that both the 4 and 6 use partial flow oil filtration, which was a canister mounted to the outside of the engine block. It had oil lines going up to it and would trickle back into the engine. Oil filtration is a huge weakness to the early engines. The 6 shares the same bore as the 4 but uses a shorter stroke. 161 cubic inch displacement in line 6, F head 2.6 liters. It's good for anywhere between 90 to 130 horsepower with dual carbs at 4400 RPM, up to 140 pound feet or 190 newton meters at 2000 RPM with a bore of 3.125 inches and a stroke of 3.5 inches. Compression 6.9 to 1 features four main bearings. Years this engine was used was between 1952 through 1955. Could be found in the Kaiser Darren Willis Arrow. There was some stuff going on in the background worth talking about. In 1953, Willis Overland was purchased by Kaiser Motors. They would change the name from Willis Overland to Willis Motors, which explains why the Willis engine was used in the Kaiser Darren. And they would move their production to Toledo, Ohio, where both Kaiser and Willis would be produced until 1955. They would still make Jeeps in Toledo, but they moved their car production to South America. The company would change its name to Kaiser Jeep in 1963 and was sold to AMC in 1970. All right, now it's time for Would You Rather... Two scenarios today. In the first scenario with the Hurricane 4, would you rather have a 1955 Jeep CJ5 
1956 Jeep FC or 1952 Willis Jeepster. I'm going to leave this here for a minute. If you need more time, feel free. Pause the video. On to the second scenario. All with the Hurricane 6. 1952 Willis Arrow or 1954 Kaiser Darren or 1953 Willis Wagon. I'm going to leave this here again for a minute. If you need more time, feel free. Pause the video. Now it's time for Name That Tune. First person to get both the name of the band and the song title correctly in the comment section will have their comment pinned to the top of it. Thank you all so much for coming out and watching this. If you'd like to get in touch with me, shoot me a comment in the comment section below. Or you could always send me an email at what underscore it's underscore like at yahoo.com. Thank you so much for making this a car community. Until next time, toodaloo! The year is 1950. The year is 1950. Oh man, this is going to be rough. I'm so congested. I don't understand why I have these allergies. I've never had allergies until my 30s. Please not like this.